Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to schedule, set up a Microsoft meeting for multiple colleagues and to also set up a registration link so your colleagues who are, or the participants who are going to be joining the meeting, they will have that registration link to actually register for the meeting. And that will help you to understand how many people will be um, registering and attending that meeting. So let's set this up. But before I do continue, please like, subscribe, and share. So what I've got opened up here is my desktop version of Microsoft Teams. Uh, I'm in dark mode at the moment, so don't worry about it if yours looks slightly different. Now, I'm in the calendar view here on the left side. There's a calendar view. And in here, I'm going to set up a meeting for March 2025, quite a time away. And um, I'm going to set, set this up for 9 o'clock in the morning here. Now, you can either click on where you want the meeting to go here in this grid, or on the top right-hand corner, you can set up through the new meeting link here, click on the down arrow. You can either choose from the templates um, that you want to use to set up your meeting or just click on schedule meeting there. But what I'm going to do is click on where when I want the meeting to be on here. So click on there, it will open up another um, pop-up box here. Now this will take you, let me just ma maximize this, click on this maximize icon here. Now what I can do is give a few options for this meeting here. So I can choose a, a title for the meeting here. So I'm going to type in RA Solutions Meeting. Can't spell. Um, here I can choose my required attendee. So if I'm the person who, or the main person presenting in that meeting or hosting the meeting, I may have some co hosts as well. Um, it's, it's very good practice to put names or email addresses of those co hosts. In this box here just in case on the day um, your internet is not working I'm not able to access the meeting they can take over and obviously as a co-host um, manage that meeting as well so here um, so you can put the email addresses in there you can put optional people in there make sure you put their email addresses in so they can get the invite as well now here the, um, the third option you can set the date for the meeting very straightforward the time of the meeting the duration of the meeting is an all-day meeting at the moment this meeting is only 30 minutes long whether that meeting is going to repeat or if so how if it's not going to repeat you leave at do not repeat there or if it is you can choose um, how regular the occurrence of that meeting is going to be um, the channel you're going to use what channel it's going to be on so here we've got specific channels but i'm going to leave that blank the location so this is an online meeting on teams and you can give a bit of information here about what that meeting is going to be about and there is another option here i've added this app actually you might not see this on yours it's an agenda you can add to that meeting as well um, at the top you can see where you've um, you can see new meeting you got the details you got the scheduling assistant there um, but also here when the meeting is going on you can change your actual status um, but you can also categorize that meeting so you can add a, a, a category so I, I may want to have the green category um, for this specific meeting so I'll show you how that category will work in a minute the time so we're going to use the GMT time here London uh, response options here um, allow res uh, request responses allow forwarding and currently the default is require registration none but I want people everybody to register for that meeting so what I want here is to change that non option here to for everybody so I want everybody to register for that meeting what it's going to do is going to change some settings and it's going to come up with a further pop-up um, further option at the top now what it's asking is planning an event with registration so what you can do is you can either create a webinar to set up details attendance uh, attendee registration communication in one place so you can create a webinar here to do that or you can um, edit or view the registration form so what I'm going to do is view the registration form initially then change or customize that registrations form so I'm going to click on uh, view registration form it's going to go to this uh, webinar registrations page here I'm going to add a title to the registration um, page so this is register for RA solutions meeting 
You can also add your company logo, organization logo here at the top, upload an image, but I'm not gonna, not gonna do that. Um, here you can just select the time, I'm gonna keep it as half an hour, put some information there. You can put your keynote speakers of that meeting, so in this case it will be me. Um, and here on the right side, it's gonna show you how what the form is gonna look like when they get sent that registration link. So at the moment, I'm only asking for the first name, surname, and their email address, absolutely fine. But you can also add other fields you wanna add uh, by clicking on this add field option here and obviously follow the instructions there. But also, you can see at the moment, you can limit how many people can register for that event. So the maximum number of people that can visit um, that Teams meeting is a thousand. You can lower that. You can't increase it, unfortunately, because a thousand is the maximum number. Um, but you can limit that. So you can say 50 in there. Um, but I'm going to keep that as is to a thousand. Um, and then once you're happy with that form, as it is, once you've changed these details, added your speakers, added the description, and we know it's a Microsoft Teams meeting there. So we'll leave that as is. Click on save. Um, there you go and then what we can do this is what the form will look like um, to the participants once you send them the registration link on an email to register for this meeting so um, you can either leave that as is you can view that um, registrations page in a browser but I'm not going to do that it looks very similar to this or or you can copy the registration link here so I can copy it and I can send that invite to the other people who are going to be in that meeting so here what I can do now is click on cross because my registration page has been set up um, I don't want any more uh, presenters but you can add those presenters later on absolutely fine um, then what you do here on the right side you this is a really important thing so people um, you can set up who can bypass past the waiting lobby so once they have that link they'll click on join the meeting they they can either sit in a in a waiting room which is the lobby or they can come directly into the meeting but it's really good practice um, to change this and if it was me i would change this in this drop down to people in my organization who work with me can bypass the lobby they can click on the um, join meeting link and they can come straight into the meeting however those external people and in this case there will be some external piece people coming into that meeting those external people should when they click on that join link at the moment here and uh, they will remain in the lobby the waiting room and we will give them access as to when we are ready for them to join that meeting so at the moment only people in my organization can um, bypass the lobby let's look at the other options so everyone can bypass the lobby, people in the organization, trusted or, um, organizations or guests, people in the organization and guests, people in the organized, people who are invited, only organizers and co-organizers. So at the moment, I want people in the organize, uh, organization. Now here, you've got um, record automatically. So when the meeting starts, do you want teams to automatically record the meeting? I would leave that as no, and you can manually start the recording when you're in there, when you're good and ready. Um, and then here, more options, click on more options, it will come up with these, the, these specific different options for you to either enable or disable in there. So in here, at the moment, who can bypass the lobby? People in the organization. Um, again, people dialing can bypass the lobby, at the moment it's no. Attendees with a registration link can bypass the lobby, actually no. I want them to wait in the lobby in this case. Um, announce when people are dialing in, joining or leaving. Actually, let's keep that to no. Now, this one's a really important one. Choose co-organizers. Now, I'm the only organizer because I'm the person who set up the meeting, but you can assign your co-organizers. Now, what you can do with this one, at the moment, it doesn't allow you to put any names in. That's because you've not set up your required presenters here on this previous screen. Once you put an email address in there, you'll be able to po populate in this options page um, who that organizer would be, whether it's the same person as this person, and it should be. Um, at the moment, everybody can present. Um, allow mic for attendees, of course. Allow cameras, of course. Record automatically, we've said no. The meeting chat is on. The Q&A bit, there's a Q&A app bit. Uh, at the moment, that's disabled. Allow reactions, yes. 
enable green room i've said no to that um enable language interpretation um that's an interesting one at the moment that's been disabled allow attendance report yes because i want to see how many people have attended that attended that meeting and here the transcription i want to set up that meeting with a transcription and i'm just going to click on save here we're done so that's done click on x so that meeting options is there now um i'm going to put in another email address in here of the other person who's going to be um part of that meeting so resolutions.com let me try a colleague so there's a colleague click on that click on update so they get the invite there we're, there we are click on that click on edit go to meeting options here now that colleague has been added now what I can do here you see this drop downs appeared and choose co-organizers here I can choose that colleagues name so that colleague is going to be the co-organizer co-organizer just in case my internet doesn't work but even if my internet works that colleague can obviously set up breakout rooms help me with the recording whilst I'm going through my PowerPoint presentation so I click on save um, click on exit and I know that um, the that person now that co-organization along with myself will be a part of that meeting as well so that's just a very quick and easy way um, to show you how to set up a meeting um, in Microsoft Teams but one thing you need to do if you scroll to your calendar is that registration link um, if you click on the actual meeting here do not send the other external colleagues this actual direct link to join the meeting what you need to do is go back to edit and send them the link to the registration page because that way you can track how many people once you've sent that link to them on an email once they've registered you can track how many people have actually registered for your meeting and maybe send those reminders out to others who haven't yet registered for the meeting i hope this video has helped you please like subscribe and share